taping. Oh, you're yeah. taping. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, well, basically just was, it was a tough, it's always a tough trip going to Asia anyway. So you have, because you have the, the, the lack of sleep from the traveling, you have the time zone, you know about time zone, you do a lot of oh, traveling. Yeah. So um, then you have the heat, the incredible, like 38 degrees Celsius and humid and the, the worst heat you could have. And then the food, like you have to look for decent food and stuff. So I went to a um, Western sort of pizza, pizza parlor and I had a salad. Mm -hmm. So maybe some people say don't eat salad because it's washed in the water, but no. they're serving tap water and tap water is meant to be okay there. So to be honest, I think it was just bad luck, you know. You said the iced tea. Right? Uh, it could have been iced. Could have been the ice and the iced tea or something. Yeah. But I don't know what it was, but so I arrived Wednesday night. Thursday I did a two hours cycle in the morning to the tried the course and everything. Mm -hmm. Everything was okay. It was hot, but it's hot for everybody. So. Yeah. Um, and then I went for lunch on Thursday and then started, it was fine and then walked home and as I got home I started to feel a bit funny and then that was it for the rest of the day I was in bed and I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. So, so I was, you know, lost a lot of energy, sick, you know, everything, I didn't have any energy. Next morning I managed to get some, you know, medicine and stuff but with the heat and, you know, feeling that bad and not having energy, it's, it's the worst thing and you're trying to think about doing a race, you know. Mm. <clears throat> um, so I just, I didn't do anything on Friday, like training, so usually I, I prepare, I have a do a bit of run, swim, bike and mm. just to go over the course, but so I didn't get to do any of that. Uh, I was just trying to, you know, um, rehydrate because you lose all the salts from, from the sickness and, um, you know, electrolyte drinks, salt packets, I have so much stuff and you know, I was very well prepared to to recover from it but you can't you can't replace the energy no. unless you're eating and I couldn't eat because of the stomach was too sensitive and um, I had I had bananas, I had rice, I had very basic things but you know in two days normally I'd eat maybe eight thousand calories. And in the two days, I maybe had three or two thousand. Mm -hmm. So when I did the race on the Saturday, so after not eating very much maybe Friday, eight thousand calories in two days. In two days, so, so four thousand four, calories. In three or four, days. say three thousand for them. But up to a race, you're trying to, you know, um, you're not eat, but like you know, store your glycogen stores, get glycogen stores high, and get more carbohydrate in the system mm -hmm. to be used. And I, I had maybe a quarter of what I needed or half what I needed. And from the minute I touched the water, I knew how it was going to be. Okay. And I didn't want to, I wanted to stop from the minute I started. So. But I tell you what, I raised my head because he rang me the day before. He said, Dad, I got food oh. poison. I was saying, for God's sake, don't risk it. They said, don't, don't race. race. Everyone's don't yeah. race. But like, Please. I, said, I knew I could start. You don't want to be collapsing the race and be carried in the yeah. dehydration. And so I, I did a run yes. in the morning when I got up because it was the race was at nine thirty. That was the other thing they did it at nine thirty. Mm -hmm. So we were going to be running from eleven o'clock when the it's almost it the hot you know hottest part of the day and, mm -hmm. and it was just crazy. Like I was right uh, swimming. The swimming was thirty degrees Celsius. But you came out to the, the front, sea, you know. So you mm -hmm. don't have any relief from the heat. Mm -hmm. So you get out hot and you go into the hot, yeah. and then you put your helmet on. You go cycling. And the wind is like a hot fan blowing in your face. Yeah. It's just, I couldn't, and also I think my body was trying to retain all the water it had in me, so I wasn't sweating, mm -hmm. so I wasn't cooling down, it was yeah, just yeah. horrendous, and had no energy, had nothing, so it's basically, the whole time I was like, I'm just going to go to the end of the bike, mm -hmm. and I'm going to stop, because then I'm not going to run, and then... You see the difference? I go to the end of the run. The is, is no. amazing. But I got to the run and I thought I got to transition. Said so I'll just do transition, run around the corner and stop because mm -hmm. I'm gonna collapse. But but then you got to you carry on. Jump. I'm jogging. I'm running. I'm like okay. I'm running. So I'm 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 here. I'm alive. I can still do it. So yeah. why stop? So yeah. I say I'll do one lap and then I did one lap and I'm like I'll carry on. Do you two laps and the whole time I was just because in on. in triathlon all the triathletes, the top guys, they say the worst thing is not did. Did not DNF. 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 Yeah, yeah, they yeah, say yeah. is the worst. 
Because there's, there's a big thing at the moment. Like, like there was a, did you have a DNF? Uh, I did once. What? Uh, uh, twice maybe ever. I want, uh, once in South Africa, South Africa. Uh, but I had a puncture. I had. Oh, I should have. I could have finished it, but it was like, that was the one I was talking. I had the altitude race the week yeah. before, and I was yeah, really not recovered and everything. And, yeah. But I mean, that was my weakest moment in the, in the race. But yeah. I did once when I was younger, and I had a virus. And, uh, no, I didn't. I no, no, that only one. once. That's oh, that's yeah. It's a shame. If you, you could have finished, I got some points on it. No, I might but not as well. I'd rather, I I, when I saw, when he said four points, I said, Lawrence, please don't race it. And I was, you wouldn't believe it, 24, 36 hours I didn't sleep. Mm -hmm. Just trying to get on the internet to see any no, any any yeah. news. And I said, for God's sake, the minute you finish, kept texting, texting until he answered me, say, I'm all right. At yeah. least he said, I'm alive. That's all what I want to know. I don't, want to know I, think I, I don't have that mentality to, to just completely destroy me myself. I have, I have a stop mechanism to stop me from going that far. Um, I know if I'm going to faint or not, so I don't, if, if you know what I mean. I don't know, it's like, so I knew I could do it, I could just carry on. And I thought, I'm still the first Arab, I'm, you know, Jordan would rather see me with a result than a DNF. And yeah. The whole way I was thinking all this yeah. stuff, and I yeah. thought, I can Although finish, if I can finish, I can finish. It's a lot of yeah. pressure on you. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes, I mean, you cannot avoid it. You DNF before you hurt yourself. Yeah. Well, this but is the other uh, thing. This is there's a big debate at the moment between.